All right, guys, we are deep into round two of the PGA Championship. Of course, the number one story this week is Jordan Spieth. Will he be able to complete the career Grand Slam? But I'll tell you, right now, the front runner is Kevin Kisner. He's number nine in FedEx points right now. He's a straight hitter. He's, he's the quiet guy, I'm telling you. He could be trouble, and he's got a dynamite golf swing, and there's some really cool stuff that I'm going to talk about with his golf swing. He has a pretty standard modern swing, uh, but there's one detail that I've never seen before, and it's really interesting, and I can't wait to share it. So let's take a look at this swing right here. So Mr. Kisner here, we can see he's got a pretty strong left-hand grip like a lot of modern players do. Uh, he's also going to have a, a pretty standard uh, restricted lower body backswing. He's flexible enough to do it. You know, I remember when I was a teenager and I was first taught the modern swing, it felt good, you know, being on top of the ball and being able to really smash it. But I really lost my way for a while there. But obviously it works for so many of these guys on tour. But let's watch him as he takes the club to the top. He's got a lot of flexibility to get that turn, and he keeps that left heel planted. But watch him keep his head still. Like This is just such a fundamental hallmark of great players. That thing just stays down. And I love this release. Watch this right arm. Look at that as the left shoulder works back. He gets a Hogan-looking finish there, right? Look at that high finish. That is just gorgeous. Now, if we look at his down-the-line view, he's pretty standard like most modern players. They set the club. Uh, the shaft plane is much lower than where it's going to be when they deliver the club at impact. So let's take a look at that real quick. Reaches to the shoulder plane, and he comes down very similar to, say, a Justin Rose or Jason Day. But this is something that I find really interesting. Look at his right foot. He keeps that right foot planted a la Mo Norman even. And I think it's really, really fascinating. Watch how low he keeps that right foot down. That thing is still down. And then finally he comes up long after the ball's gone, after he's ripped it. Now that's very interesting, but the other thing I want to talk about is this kind of Mo Norman delivery. A lot of these modern guys, I'm telling you, they've got a pretty straight line from their left shoulder down to the ball. It's, uh, it's pretty fascinating. But here's the most fascinating thing about Kevin Kisner's awesome golf swing. Now, I've got my tush line here like I always do, but he does something I've never, ever seen before. He's going to maintain his hip depth just fine. Look at that. He even goes a little bit deeper. He's got plenty of depth there. So he takes the club up to the top. Now he's going to come down to go get that thing. But look at that left hip. I've never seen this. As he comes down through Shangri-La into the ball, that left hip gets super deep. He's got a lot of leverage there pulling that club through. So I find that absolutely fascinating. And here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And you'll see it right here. Wham! All of a sudden that left hip gets super duper deep. And look at all this space. Now, you guys have uh, seen some of my work with Matt Ben Crescuto, PJ professional out of Orlando. And one of the main things that Matt taught me is the golf swing is all about creating time and creating space. When you see people with poor golf swings, they run out of time and they run out of space and they have to stand up or do something else to create enough space for their arms and the club head. But watch Mr. Kisner create space. My goodness, he's got so much room in here. Very, very free-flowing move. So Kevin Kisner, best of luck. Hit him long and hit him straight. And it'd be awesome if you won the PGA Championship.